All right, what is up, guys? It is Revs, Days Revs, whatever you want to call me. Um, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be show I'm going to be showing you how to get really, really, really smooth Twixter and extra and After Effects. And most people, whoa, what happened? Most people, um, they say, oh, I can only do uh, 60 frame per second or 59.94. And that really does help a lot get the really smooth Twixter. But you can also get pretty smooth Twixter um, with 29.97, I believe it is. But um, I'm going to show you how to get really smooth uh, Twixter using both. So uh, I have a Collat headshot with the L96 on Black Ops. That's my clip. And then I haven't seen this clip yet, but I see it's 29.97. Uh, 97 and this is dazed images clip so we'll uh we'll bring the 59.94 well in the after effects and then just drop it in the project box and then drag it onto the new composition folder or button whatever and it creates a new composition first thing you want to do is you want to come over here and click this button enable frame blending and then just click that and it should work and then you want to come over here to layer and then go frame blending pixel motion and then after that you want to go to layer time enable time remapping that way you can uh, just make the clip bigger or smaller and then after that you want to find your composition and go to composition settings and what I do is I usually find I go to this this is the milliseconds this is the seconds I usually add about five to ten seconds onto that so I'll just go with 14 just add seven seconds that way uh, and then drag that out that way you have bigger uh, composition for your twixter so after this you wanna uh, the key thing is with twixter is you don't wanna twixter the shot because it uh, it warps the video and takes away from the actual shot what you want to do is pick a shot like after you shoot and your scope is zooming out or before you're zooming in or like if you're doing a trick shot where you're reloading the gun because that's really slow and all this other kind of stuff so I think I'm going to use the twixter here that was my dog Okay, um, what you want to do is go to your Twixter and drag that in. And what you want to do is, since this is a 59.94 frame per second clip, you want to go to input frame rate and then put 59.94 and then click enter. And then you should see like there was a little bit of distortion happening. But um, don't worry about that. What you want to do is find the place that you want to be twixtered go back a frame click the little timeline at speed just click that and or the whatever it's called the time stopwatch that's what it is and then you want to go after you keyframe that click the stopwatch you want to go forward a frame and then bring the speed down to one and that should give you the slowest twixter you could get so I'm going to go ahead and render this out and then I'll see you, or yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, now we are back and I have the twixtered version of the clip right here. But uh I was looking at the clip and that I was going to use dazed images clip and uh it just it had it it wasn't disabled resampled and so I'm gonna use this uh, this clip and as you can see it's 59 frames per second so I'm gonna bump that down to 30 right quick so I'll be back in two seconds alrighty I'm back uh, I seem to have gotten that situated now uh, let's drag this in here move and replace delete that and as you can see here it's 29 frames per second and this one's 50 alright so now what we want to do is we want to go back to after effects in our render queue 
delete that um, go here just delete everything from your project start a new and then drag in your 29.97 clip and then drag it onto the new composition button and then now you have it now you want to do the same thing you want to enable frame blending shut up phone um, then you want to go to frame frame blending pixel motion and then time enable time remapping and then composition settings you want to do the same thing add five to ten seconds so I'm gonna add sixteen oh, no I'm going to add seven to equal sixteen so there we go shut up phone um, and now I'm just gonna drag that out and what you want to do is you want to find the exact moment where the Twixer is gonna look perfect where there are little uh, I don't know how to explain where, where, where there's going to be little uh, motion. As you can see here, the zoom out, there's a little bit, uh, th there's a little more motion. So I'm going to start uh, as soon as the numbers start to get smaller. So right there, I want a Twixter right there. Now you go to effect, you drag in your Twixter, and then the 29. 0.97 since that's the frame rate you want to keep that at that and then uh, you want to click the time the stopwatch at speed at 100 and then you want to go forward one frame and then drop it down to one again and then that'll be super slow-mo and it won't be the best because it's 29 or it's 30 frame per second video but it would look it will look the best this is the best you can get for uh, 30 frames per second so we're going to add this to the render queue and I have some render settings of mine I might if you guys want I'll do a uh, a tutorial on how to get my render settings and then put caps lock that way it's easier to render and then I want to explain to you guys why uh, 60 frames per second is better to render than 30 frames per second uh, because most people don't realize it but it, it, it's actually what the name is frames per second since there's 60 frames per second you have more pictures per second and the pictures are closer together and you get a smoother video and if you have closer pictures together then it doesn't put so much strain on Twixter to get the smooth slow-mo because with 30 frames per second you only have 30 pictures rather than 60 and the 30 pictures have to be more spaced out that way you can get the 30 frames per second um, and since they're more spaced out there's more uh, space between the pictures meaning that Twixter has to put more strain on itself and therefore like more warping within the uh, within the clip so the closer the frames are together the easier it is for Twixter to merge the pictures that's why people on computers uh, render or play at like 250 frames per second that way they can get they can get that super sexy slow-mo where there's no warping at all because there are so many close together pictures that there's virtually no warping so I'll get to you guys back. Uh, I'll get back to you guys in a second when this is done rendering. All right, and so now we're back, and I'm just gonna delete all this because I uh, I'm kind of OCD about that. And then, as you can see here, we have the clat headshot and the clat headshot by image. So two clat headshots, and they will be at the end of this video, which is in a couple minutes. Uh, don't forget to like if this helped you and obviously you like the video don't forget to favorite that way you can come back and use it whenever you forget how to do sexy smooth uh, Twixter and subscribe to me if you haven't and please try to get this video out there because not many people know how to do Twixter so please get this video out there and I would love you guys a lot alright peace guys this has been Dazed Revs